I believe that coffee is a drink that should be consumed by everybody, like, no matter the age. I grew up drinking coffee every Saturday as a kid, we got coffee dates in um, my parents' bed, and my dad would bring us all five coffee, and we'd just sit there and drink our coffee. But roughly a, an age where you should be drinking regular coffee is probably 15, because then you're like a sophomore in high school, and that's like your general where you're staying up late, you know? But it's my personal opinion. Health benefits of coffee. Um, coffee helps resist the development of Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, coffee drinkers are more likely to resist development of dementia and Alzheimer's later in life, according to a 2009 study I found online, um, as well as um, the compound in coffee actually helps to block a substance in the body called human isolate amyloid polypeptide, polypeptide <laughs> that may play a role in the development of diabetes. So it lowers your risk of having diabetes in your later life. It actually also helps you recover faster from colon surgery. So if any of y'all later in life have colon surgery or like a colonoscopy, yeah. um, drink coffee and it will help you recover faster from that. I don't know exactly what it does. It cleans you out or something. I don't know. Um, it also helps your skin. Um, it helps lower the risk of developing basal cell sar. Sarcoma, Sar I don't know how you Sarcoma. say it. Yes, something like that, that um, is prevalent in like skin cancer. So if you drink coffee, it lowers your risk of getting skin cancer. Other overall benefits, um, coffee reduces stress, like the smell of coffee. And so even if you don't drink it, which I think we all should, um, the smell of it reduces stress. Um, it's amazing. I don't know what else to put with that. Thor According to um, <laughs> Lady A, Lady Annabellum, is the drink of the gods, and obviously Thor likes coffee, so if it is loved by the gods, I think we should also love it. Um, and it's a good pick-me-up. Um, it gives you energy, the caffeine and the coffee, and so, obviously, energetic people are happier and just more alive and present in life. Some may say, I don't like the taste of coffee. To that, <laughs> I say, there are many forms of flavoring your coffee, whether it is coffee made creamer. There are tons of flavors you can choose from, from peppermint mocha, pumpkin spice, hazelnut, fresh vanilla. All of them are great. Or you can just suck it up and drink it black. And then you just get all of the health benefits because if you drink it with creamer, it kind of cancels out some of the health benefits. But um, some of my friends in Chartwells, they will come up, and my athlete friends, like they'll come up with two huge cups of like just black coffee and just chug it because it gives them energy for like pre-workouts. Super weird, but they don't like the taste, they just drink it for the benefits of the coffee. You may even say, I don't have time to make coffee. To that, I say there's always time for coffee. Um, coffee takes about three minutes to brew, and if you like don't want to make it in the morning, you can actually, most coffee pots have automatic timers where you can set it, filter it, make it all in, at like at night, and then set it to a time, and it automatically brews in the morning, which is miraculous whenever you're really late to class and your coffee's already ready. Um, there are these new things called Keurig machines where you don't even have to put the coffee in the filter, you just stick it in there, you press the button. Or you can online order at Portico, or if you're like me, you go in there so often that they see you and they go ahead and make your coffee because <laughs> they already know what you're going to order. Those are a few ways that you can make coffee faster and make it into your everyday life. So coffee is always a good idea, and there is never a point where I feel you have too much coffee, but that is my point.